the meditation flute. In 1975, I was taking some hot irons and poking some holes, and I stopped right at the moment, right before opening this hole bigger and this hole bigger. And I listened to what I had, and it was great. And we called it the meditation flute. And after a while of selling it, it just stayed um, dormant in a flute bag. And then we revived it again, and it's available with uh, the wonderful carvings of uh, my apprentice, uh, Leonardo Aguirre. So here's the sound of it, and here's how I recommend to play it. Again, a side-blown flute, but again, we can make it end-blown, uh, as in the uh, Andean Kenna or the Japanese Shakuhachi. Uh, it has six holes. I place one, two, three, four, and five, but it has another sixth hole. But that is sort of like the ta-da at the end of a concert. So watch the five holes as I begin to play. So in essence, this is your low do, number five, and this is like the da-da at the end of the song. <laughs> 